Lakota word for forgiveness is wo king ktunza. I want to tell you a brief story about how I come to you here and how the staff has come to us as well. This is the only pipe stone flute in the world. The only one place to get this stone. There is a, a sacredness about it. Anybody that carries a pipe, they follow the spiritual unwritten rules that it, it brings to people. My ancestor was a man who was hired by the United States Army. He uh, committed a massacre against the Lakota people at Blue Water, Nebraska, September 3rd, 1855. What they did to my, cut my hair, took my language away, started arresting people who were practicing our Lakota traditions, I repressed it. Depression set in and, and I wanted my pain to go away, so I walked in there to do something with those sheets to end my pain. And the village that he attacked was the Little Thunder Village. The history there was taken away. We were losing our identity of Lakota people. I experienced that as a child. I read Lieutenant Governor Warren's narrative in a military called Day Report. The order was given to mutilate and to violate the men, women, and children. His men killed 86 Lakota women and children, more than half, and he sanitized his report. I got a call from my cousin Karen Little Thunder, and she said, there's a descendant of General Warney the one that massacred our people. There's a descendant that wants to meet us. Healing is in three phases. First one is truth. You need to put everything on the table, not just half or three-fourths, all of it. Well, my name is Paul Stover Soderman. I live in Boulder, Colorado. In an effort of forgiveness and ancestral healing, I'm standing next to the descendant of Chief Little Thunder, Mr. Donald Little Thunder, right here. Oh, relatives. My name's Donald Little Thunder. Right here at Wachete Shakuli Camp, over here at Wahachunka Wawachun. It's good for the true history to come back, because without truth, we're not going to have the healing. Being Lakota is a hard way to live, but it's a good way to live. My English name is Phil Little Thunder Sr. My ceremonial name is Tokea Wianata. First, to run towards the sun. The second phase is justice. So how does that look? Our history of our Little Thunder family, it's not even really taught. At the end of that fight, they left the bodies there on the massacre site, and they burned everything there, except for what Governor Warren took. He put it in a wagon and sent it to his daughter in upstate New York. She brought it to the Smithsonian, and it sits there today. We want to exhibit those pieces. Talk to the Smithsonian work with them, work with our people, and, and take care of our spirit and souls from the past. The items coming back, I support that. But the way it's done, no shortcuts. It needs to be called Wopa Kinta Wichocha, means clearing. Uh, reconciliation, healing, teaching for the Lakota Nation. So I'm all for bringing that stuff home. Not one or two, but this is probably hitting the millions of souls that we could affect with our items in the Smithsonian. And they're reminding us who we are. But the third phase is forgiveness. That's the litmus test to who we are. Some glad morning when this life is over, I'll fly. Little Thunder, the chief, came out and met him with a white flag and a peace medal. Harney refused to shake his hand. And Harney said, no peace by God, it will be war. Our people came to him, came to our grandfather in a time of need. Our people entrusted, and they said it is the voice of the people. His voice was like thunder for the people. Everywhere he went, I took him. 
she said, Grandson, I'm going to teach you a very profound spiritual gift. Wo King Ktuza. Wo King Ktuza, and then we learn that, and that's the forgiveness of both sides. Wo Ki, to awaken your center of your divinity. And she said, It's a very difficult time because I'm asking you pray for them, pray for their parents, pray for their grandparents, and back. They're wounded. They don't know what they did. Part of that is bringing me to Blue Water Creek and taking me up to Standing Rock. They all intertwine to who I am today. But in that process, I had to learn forgiveness of myself, of how I treated myself for 29, 28, 29 years. I'm 58 years old now, almost 59, and I'm 33 years sober from drugs and alcohol. And I'm trying very hard to uh, correct the karmic actions of my ancestor. General Harney and Little Thunder came together at one time and they were murdered, massacred. Now we're standing back together and we were hugging and we're going to sweat lodge. And Harney's a Chanupa carrier now. Is it possible that when everyone vibrates with complete forgiveness, that all of a sudden, all of this division will shift? Absolutely.